Anne Barra. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I give notice that on the next sitting day I will move. One, that this House notes that the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare Child Protection Australia 2013-14 report indicates that a the number of child protection notifications in New South Wales has risen from 98,845 in 2010-11 to 99,283 in 11-12, 104,817 in 12-13 and to 125,994 in 13-14. The rate of children and young people in care and protection on care and protection orders per thousand of the population in New South Wales has risen from 9.0 in 2010 to 9.3 in 2011, 9.7 in 2012, 9.8 in 2013, and to 10.2 in 2014. And C, the rate of children and young people in out-of-home care per thousand of the population in New South Wales has risen from 9.9 in 2010 to 10.2 in 2011, 10.4 in 2012, and to 10.8 in 2014. Two, that this House notes that Department of Family and Community Services quarterly dashboard shows that although the caseworker vacancy rate has fallen from from 13% in September 2013 to 5% in the most recent December 2014 <coughs> report. That A, the number of children and young people in risk of significant harm reports has risen from 64,470 in 2012-13 to 74,031 from October 13 to 30th September 2014. B, the proportion of children reported at Roche, who required a completed face-to-face -face child assessment, was 28% in 2012-13 from and 27% from 1st of October to 30th of September 14. Three, that this House calls on the New South Wales Government to A, take urgent action to significantly increase the proportion of children and young people reported at Roche who receive a face-to-face -face child protection assessment and significantly significantly increase the commitment to early intervention services in the 2015-16 budget to support vulnerable families, address risk factors, prevent abuse and neglect and reduce the number of children and young people who need to be helped by the state's child protection and out-of-home care services. <laughs>